Hello. So this is a quick demo for the local agent setting applets as part of the Broker VM. The local agent setting applet can be configured to be or enabled to be an agent proxy and can be enabled to be an agent installer and content caching for the agents. So in our use case, we will consider that we have a restricted environment where the agents cannot reach to the internet to get the updates from the Cortex server. So what we're going to configure, we are going to configure the broker VM to be with the local setting, uh, local agent setting applets, and we are going to enable the agent proxy, and we are going to enable the agent installer and content caching. So we are going to do a demo for that, and we are going to do the demo from the beginning, from uh, enabling the applet and installing the agents and see how the agents connected, including creating the policies and the profile for that. So the first thing we are going to start is with the broker VM. Basically, we can split that task into three tasks. First thing, uh, we need to configure the broker VM. The second thing, we are going to get the installation package and we are going to configure the agent setting profile and the security policy. And then we are going to install the agent with the proper proxy configuration so it can talk the broker VM. Starting with the first step, we're gonna go to the settings configuration, then we are going to broker VM. And from broker VM, this is the broker VM that we are going to use for our demonstration. As we can see, the local setting applet is showing inactive. So the first step, as we said, is enabling or configuring the broker VM. And that's going to be easy and straightforward. Just right click on the broker VM and go to the local setting, local agent setting and click on activate. Once you click on activate, you will be popped up with another menu that asks you which option you want to enable within the local agent setting. And as we explained, we have the first option, which is the agent proxy, and the second one, the agent installer and content caching. In our scenario, we need to enable both. So we'll go ahead and enable the agent installer and content caching. The same thing, we will enable the proxy. And for this case, we can go for the default port. If you would like you, you can change that one to whatever you do in your environment. For the listening interfaces, we are going to choose all. You can choose the listening interface specific one that you configured in the broker VM. In our case, we're going to keep it for all. And that should be good for enabling and activating the local agent settings. We click on activate. And we will see that the completed for a uh, completed message for the local agent setting activation. Once we click on that, you will see that the prompt here changed to activating before it was inactive. So we can give it um, a couple seconds and we can click on refresh. And now we see the local agent setting is showing as active and it's showing connected. So if you hover over it, you will see that the active connection zero. That's mean there is no agents right now are connecting to the broker VM to that local agent setting applet. Once we start configuring our broker VMs, we will see the numbers beside the active connection instead of zero. We will see it depending on the number of agents that we are configuring. So we're going to go now with the next step, which is going to be like for us preparing the installation package that we are going to use. I did have installed this one because it's going to take time. So to save some time, I installed it ahead of time. So we'll go for endpoint installation packaging and we uh, agent installation, sorry. And then from agent installation, we'll see the packages. I did prepare one. I just call it restricted only. So let me take this name and copy it for our next step. So that one part that we are going to do the next step is we are going to create our profile and security policy for the profiles for the agent settings first off the policy here there is an order policy that is being used so let me take advantage of this one for this policy i want to change the configuration on the agent settings so i will click right click on the agent setting profile and click view agent setting profile and from here 
we are going to change the download source for that agent setting profile and we're going to choose the broker VM and from the broker VM we are going to choose the broker VM that we just configured right here that's going to be the first part for the agent installation now the second part we're going to go ahead and hit on save and then the second part is the policy rule we're going to go back to the policy so for this policy we're going to click on edit and we'll keep the policy name the same that is the agent profile and we'll go for next to specify the target now two things i want to specify in the target right now i won't specify anything that has the installation package that we just created that says restriction only or i want to add as well any endpoint name that contains cs-windows right now we don't have any because we still did not install the agent but we just have this as a step before we start installing so once we install the agent it is going to fall under this agent profile so we're going to click on next and then we get the summary to verify this is what we need this is the installation package name and this is the endpoint name that contains this and then we click on done and that should update the policy once we click on save the last step now is to start installing the agent and we're going to see how we're going to install the agent with the specific proxy settings and then we'll verify the agent installed and we should see the number of connection increase to that broker vm so if we get back to our broker vm for the local agents i think we still see the active connection is zero so let's bring the lab and do the installation okay so in our lab i just had the installation package on the agent that's the windows agent that we are going to test the local agent settings on and that's our broker vm the broker vm is the 192.168.74.145 so let's do a quick connectivity check And we are going to ping the broker VM 192.168.74. We'll just verify that IP. That 145. Okay, that's good. So now let's make sure see what IP we have and the host name all right so that is the host name that we have right now for the machine and that is the local IPv4 address so those are part of the filter if you remember we did configure the filter that anything contained the CS dash win in the name that's going to be part of the filter that's going to be applied for the agent profile and so hence for the policy now let's start the installation so we do have the package right here and uh, let's verify the path just give it right there we're going to need it for the installation in order for us to identify the proxy for the agent we will need to use the msi exec for the installation and that's in the documentation so the command is going to be msi exit i for installation again i for installation and then now we're going to start identifying the path for the image and where we have it so we do have this and the users and the package name is restricted so we will have this that's the regular installation if you just want to do regular installation but now in our case one important part when we do or when we start the nothing we do in installation package it's going to stay the same as is 
but we're just going to add that option for the MSI exec in order for it to connect to the broker VM instead of the XDR server. So we're going to just point it to the broker VM. Here we need to use the IP address for the broker VM. So we are going to use the proxy. And this is also in the documentation in details. Proxy list. And here we will need to list the IP address for the broker VM that we just saw, which is the 192.168.74.1.1. And then we need to specify the port. And if you remember, we choose the default port. So it's going to be 8888. And that should be the command that will install this package and will identify that proxy when installing this package. Now we're going to go ahead and click enter so we can start the installation. Actually, here we need to add the equal, a good thing. So, right behind after the proxy, just need to add the equal. Yeah, that was the same argument. And then the installation will start. Normally, we can continue the installation same as we continue with any agent. Click on next, exit the terms, and do the installation. and the setup is completed now we just click on finish and that is regularly we have the agents right now now we are going to go back to the console and we'll do the verification we should see the agent is seen now with this name in the console and we should see the policy applied and we should see one connection on the broker VM. so let's go back to the console and verify so here we are on the console so we click on the local agent setting that's still zero so we are going to click refresh and we will see so let's go to refresh and go back hover over local setting and you will see there is one new active connection now we should go to the endpoints and we should see the endpoint that we installed that has the cs-1 so we'll go to endpoints all endpoints and sure enough, we see the endpoint that we installed here. If we click quickly on the endpoint, and we will see the policy that is applied to it. Quick view to that policy. That is the agent setting that we have. The download source, which we just configured. This is the one with the broker VM that we just identified. And this concludes our demo for installing the and activating the local agent setting applet and installing the XDR agent and pointing it to the local agent setting applet within the broker VM. Thank you.